Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and co-host for Resurrect the Republic Dirty Uncle Sam Radio on RBN. I wanted to share with you some really amusing facts that have come out with this new email scandal with Hillary Clinton and the Democratic National Con Convention and the Democratic National Committee. I'm not going to go into the politics of it all, but I do find this very amusing. If you remember, I reported about this very issue that was going to happen on July the 18th, 2016 because of an email that I had received from MoveOn.org. I can't wait till hopefully we can find some emails that are between those individuals as well. However, that is not the topic. The topic is the planned anti-Trump protests, which are not grassroots movements. Now, we have no problem with protest. We're, we're great with protest. I believe in everybody's freedom of speech. However, I do believe it needs to be grassroots instead of a planned attack. So, I, in a article that I saw today in the email scandal, it shows that what I had reported on the 18th has been confirmed once again that this is actually what was going on at the RNC and at the different um, staged protests against Trump. So fake hate, the email leaks proves that the DNC staged protest at the Trump rally. This should be fun, unquote. The left's tactics are exposed in broad daylight and exposes their real ugly side. Do you think they were hoping for things to get violent too? The release of Democratic National Committee emails by WikiLeaks on Friday reveals that the DNC officials planned anti-Donald Trump protests. In multiple emails, DNC officials signed off and acknowledged the existence of two anti-Donald Trump protests in South Bend, Indiana and Billings, Montana. The release of nearly 20,000 emails is the first in a WikiLeaks Hillary Leaks series. Warning, there is going to be strong language in these videos. I'll share those with you in a minute after I'm after I am done reading this article. On April the 29th, a DNC press staffer, Rachel Palermo, alerted Eric Walker, Deputy Communications Director, about a Facebook page for anti-Trump protest on Monday, on, excuse me, on May the 2nd in South Bend. Woohoo! Thanks to our interns for finding this out. Walker replies, I like it as long as the students feel safe getting involved. I imagine this demo will be nicer than the one in San Fran today." Unquote. That day in San Francisco, protesters blocked off roads to an event Donald Trump was hosting. The Republican nominee ended up having to jump down from the highway and sneak around the back to enter. In another other email chain, also on April the 29th, titled Week Ahead Notes and Assignments, former DNC media booker Pablo Merenguez comments, quote, this should be fun in reference to the May protest. University of Notre Dame, located in South Bend, is Merenguez's alma mater. A DNC official wrote, Pablo, please reach out to any folks you think may be able to help. Another protest that's directly mentioned in emails included one that occurred on May the 26th in Billings, Montana. The email is from May the 20th and features notes on the weekend ahead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description box below, but I'm going to let you see the the <laughs> Uh, a little bit of, of these protests that were planned so you can see exactly the corruption uh, which we all know is blatant and going on around this union.
Okay, so you get the point. I'll leave the link in the description box below. We knew this was going on, and by it being confirmed in their own emails is just poetic justice in and of itself. Now, I want to say something. Um, the thing that has happened with the emails and showing the targeting of Bernie Sanders and the corruption in the voting process. Now, it doesn't matter who you support, but if you're a Bernie Sanders supporter, I'm going to tell you something. This is not only unjust, this is voter fraud. This is unlawfulness at its worst. It shows that there is no, your voice means nothing. And we've known this for years. We've reported on this for years about this corrupt system. And in order to put a stop to this, for individuals who are still going to allow Hillary Clinton to be the nominee, this says they absolutely have no problem, number one, with rigged elections. And how can we speak out about rigged elections overseas and, and say that it's not right when we're allowing it here? And then they want you to, to support this corrupt woman who keeps getting by with such criminal activity. But on top of that, says your vote means nothing, that your opinions don't matter. This is not right in any form or fashion. And so she's already shown, as well as uh, Debbie Schultz, has shown, and the Democratic National Committee has shown, that they support criminal activity. Now, yes, okay, so Debbie had to step down uh, from being chair of the DNC, but then she gets hired by Hillary Clinton, showing that Hillary Clinton is once again supporting criminal, unlawful activity. Voter fraud, voter intimidation, and all of that is unlawful. It is illegal. And to allow that to stand means that you are okay with the voting process stealing your voices and saying, well, it's okay because we have to do this to defeat Trump. Now, I'm not pushing for Trump. I'm not pushing for any candidate because I'm not under any illusion that Washington is going to fix anything. But the point of the matter is the truth and that every one of your voices are able to be heard, that every one of your votes count as something. Well, if self-admittedly they don't count for anything, if you've been paying attention to the Democratic National Convention, you can see those voices count for nothing. Thousands of people are up in protest because of the illegal and unlawful actions of the DNC. Yes, they are a private party, and this is how they're getting by with it. But they can't get by with it if you refuse to support Hillary Clinton in her vote. I'm not telling you, well, switch your vote to Trump. I'm not telling you who to switch your vote to. But I know one thing. If nothing else has become extremely clear, there is no way I would ever cast my vote, ever, for Hillary Clinton, the criminal. She just spit in everybody's face. Hispanics, blacks, whites, gays, straights, you name it. Your voice does not count if you, support, if you supported your Democratic candidate of Bernie Sanders. And then here's another question. <clears throat> Bernie Sanders was allegedly against all this corruption, all this Wall Street, against TPP, all of this stuff, which is a lot in sync, um, not everything, but a lot in sync with what Donald Trump is against. Now, here's my question. Knowing that Bernie Sanders has exposed the corruption of Clinton on many levels, along with everybody else, knowing 
that they cheated the vote, they stole the votes, they rigged the system openly now because they got busted in another email scandal. So why would he turn around and tell his followers to support a criminal action? That makes you complicit in that action. Now, I don't know if uh, Bernie said that to try to save the Democratic Party. I don't know if possibly Bernie was threatened. I don't know. But I do know this. I do know with what Bernie said he is against, which is, of course, the TPP. That's one of the main things that Bernie was against, and he's right. The TPP does away with national sovereignty. It makes us subject to foreign corporations as well as foreign governments, and they're unelected. It's, they're not even subject. To, it does away with our constitutional rights. And Bernie is right. It is devastating to the American people on that part. It steals our jobs. And if the foreign corporation puts a, puts a business here and it doesn't do as well as they expected it to do, they can sue us. Are you kidding me? You know, American citizens start small businesses all the time or big businesses. And they don't do as well as expected. They can't sue somebody here for that. How do you expect to give a foreign corporation that power? On top of that, if you have not seen Clinton Cash, you need to see it. Because Clinton Cash, I don't think, realizes, but it does show not only the connection of the Clinton Foundation, the funneling of money, and the destruction and theft of resources across the globe from the Clintons. What you need to realize is that is UN Agenda 21. That is what they're doing. The elites are using a false narrative through UN Agenda 21 to steal the people's resources from all over the globe. And they are taking it, those resources out of the hands of the people. And they always, always take it under a lie, claiming they are trying to protect the land and environmentalism. And it is a scam. If you want to really find out the origins of this climate change, let's get very down to basics. From the beginning of creation, the climate has always changed. The day has always been hotter than the night. The winter has always been colder than the summer. That is why they changed the name from global warming, because the statistics didn't back it up, to climate change. It will be cooler in the morning than it will be in the afternoon, and it will be cooler in the evening than it will be in the afternoon. No one disputes that the climate changes. It changes by the second, and that is why they changed the wording. It stems out of the Club of Rome. They had to get the globe behind something that they could unite behind to instill fear to make it okay for them to rob the resources, control the people, and depopulate the world. Look up the Club of Rome. Look up the the information that stemmed out of the climate change, out of uh, the Club of Rome, was UN Agenda 21. Out of UN Agenda 21, of course, because they got busted with their map just of the United States of America, how much they would have to depopulate the United States of America in order to accomplish their goal. 
So then they change the names. They have many different names for it, and then they use it as quote unquote sustainable development. They used it as the Millennium Goals, and now it is Agenda 2030. If you do not understand that they want to eradicate sprawl, S P R A W L, sprawl, which they consider us, the non elite, to be, and they want the globe, the entire globe, to be down to 500 million people. Think about that. The globe. That's a lot of dead people. That's a lot of people that's going to have to die in order to accomplish their goal. Are you willing to go along with that? So it's a theft of resources. It is a theft of land. It is control of the water, the food, your refrigerators, your power, your gas, your cars, where you will and will not live if you live. And they want you to go along with this agenda. I will go into further detail on the Agenda 21 issue on a different video. But I think it's extremely important to understand that this is all connected. Hillary Clinton is one of the ones that is pushing this agenda. She is one of the ones involved with CFR pushing this disgusting democide and eugenics agenda to kill off the population so that she can have her money, her resources, and most of all, her control and her power. Please do not allow her to do that to you. It is time that they answer for their crimes. I will put a link also of Clinton Cash underneath this video below. Please make sure you watch the entire thing. You will see how she is not only responsible for money laundering and she is responsible for the theft of resources. She is responsible for the destruction of nations, the mass murder of people to obtain her goal. And no matter who you are or where you are around the globe, that is not acceptable. So I ask that any person who has seen the corruption to think about this. If you still support Hillary Clinton after this, then you're saying it is absolutely okay for all the criminal activity that is going on for rigged elections, for dictatorship, and that you fully well know you're going to put a person in the White House that will never follow the law and that will for sure do anything and everything she wants to do, including turning her back on you just like she did the gentleman in the, the men in Benghazi because it didn't fit her narrative. I hope that this has been informational. Thank you. God bless you. Y'all have a great day.